far as dreams are concerned. It is not interpreting dreams in a wrong way, but the affectors that affect people that I explained on yesterday that you, if you can, you can go back to that video. You, you look at also, besides the issue of one having, uh, being affected by uh, factors that have to do with anger. These are some of the things that blocks, that blocks one's, uh, one's ability to dream, all right? They are factors that have to do with anger. Anger affects uh, a person in dreaming because we all understand how it blocks a person spiritually, all right? We have issues like diet. Diet plays a role in the types of dreams that you will have. Now, you realize that there are some things that you should eat and there are some things that you should avoid as far as, um, as dreams are, are concerned. Why do I say so? Because remember that when you when you um when you are to sleep now, a lot of people you realize that if you check what affects a lot of people when they go to sleep, some people eat as if they are they will never eat again. <laughs> I don't know if you have met you have ever met such people who who will eat as if they they will never eat again, and because of that kind of a of consumption or because of that kind of, uh, of, 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 of eating, what begins to affect the person is this. When you are sleeping at night, there is an aspect of digestion that happens there, all right? <laughs> there is a part of digestion that is to happen in, in, in the dream. In, in in your in 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 at night because you would have uh you would have you would have uh come to that environment or place where you are sleeping now look at this so if you as a person now will not um if you as a person will not would have eaten and now your body is digesting because you have gone that place early when the body is digesting the body is not resting and the body not resting, it means that you come to that place where you, 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 you are not uh, focusing, number one. Number two, the body not resting, it means you cannot uh, dissect or you cannot come to that place where you can absorb dreams that will be coming into you. All right. So if in as much as God will be speaking to you by the reason that you have not, by the reason that you have not, you, 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 you have ate and you have not uh, digested. So a person will be sleeping, yet they've ate a lot of food at night. So the body is active. There is adrenaline. That is the reason why you see certain people are dreaming bad dreams at night. Certain people not coming to a place where they understand what will be happening in their dreams because even for the dream to be processed, now, it will be hard for it to be processed because the body is restless. There is still chemical imbalances or processes that will be happening in the dream, right? There will be chemical processes that will be happening in the dream, which makes it so much difficult, all right, for the body to come to that place that it, uh, it touches that. So there are things that... Um, there are things that I, I want you to, 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 be, to be very much uh, afraid of because you, you have, to, you, you have to, to, to look at uh, foods that have to do with uh, fish, all right? We all understand how fish is to, to, to the health. It, it, uh, it, it helps you um, have a, a certain uh, relaxation that is there. In that avoid the issue avoid the issue of if you are a person who's who drinks uh, alcohol all right avoid avoid the issue of alcohol avoid the issue of alcohol so in in, in what i'm saying is that at night when you're about to sleep don't overeat your food don't overeat food all right don't overeat food don't overeat food. Now, when dreams are to be released, I explained that they go through the channel of the mind when dreams are released. 
they go through the channel of the mind, all right? Because God uses the mind, the devil uses the mind, and you, you, you want to use your mind. Because whatsoever entity that controls the mind controls the spirit. Because every information that is to come, it is to be released. If you, if you, if God speaks now, He speaks and is processed through the mind, even into your spirit, for you to come to that place where one will say, um, "I slept and I did not remember my dream." You did not remember your dream because when the Spirit of God spoke into your spirit, for that, for that word to be processed into your mind for that vision that you have dreamt to be processed into your mind there has to be a connection that your mind is a state where it it is at a state where your receptacle is 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 connected to your receptacle is connected to to god all right your receptacle has got to be connected to god your receptacle has got to be connected to God. So that is why you heard me that time when I was saying that it is good also that sometimes when you are about to get to that point when you are to sleep, find find a way, find a way where you can uh, where you can listen to a music that brings relaxation to to your mind. So that is one of the things that devil uses to steal dreams. That is one of the things that devil uses when he wants to grab away your dreams. Yeah. Now you look at um, you look at the Bible when we speak about um, how heavy dreams are and how important dreams are. If you read your Bible in the book of Daniel. The Bible tells us about a time when, 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 when the man of God was praying and in his prayer while he was praying, he was praying for God to come to a place where he gives him understanding of a dream. He was praying for God to give him understanding of a dream. And it was the interpretation of the dream that was captured in the spirit. It was the interpretation of the dream that was captured in the spirit. That time when Daniel was praying, it was the interpretation. God really spoke and released their word. But there are dream catchers now in the celestial that that dream was caught up. And because when Daniel, if you read your Bible very well, if you read your Bible very well, he was asking for the interpretation of the dream. And the Bible says that as the interpretation of the dream was to come, it was Michael who was sent who are sent. And a lot of people, a lot of people, when they read that scripture, they really are confused on, did it happen when Daniel was awake or did it happen in dreams? Like what I explained, my first encounters with angels were in dreams. My first encounters with angels were in dreams. At a, space, at a place whereby I, I, I was I, I would see an, an angel seated by, by the bedside. Some of you, you might have had those encounters where an angel is seated by the bedside. And while the angel is seated by the bedside, it, 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 it feels and it, 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 it opens up really as like a human being who is uh, a human being who is sitting right there. Sometimes a conversation will be done because angels have to do with conversations. That's why I, I was, I, 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 I always say, develop um, a system or an art of having conversations in the dreams. And it starts when you are awake, asking God questions over situations that are happening in your life, over things that are happening around you. It might be that there is an event that is stressing you that you are not understanding. Get to a place where you ask God. What is God saying over what, what is happening? What is God saying over the situation that you are seeing? And that will give you an ability that your spirit becomes so receptive to the spirit of God. Your spirit becomes receptive to the spirit of God. All right? Your spirit becomes receptive to the spirit of God. And what begins to happen is, you will see yourself now begin to encounter angels. Why? Because as long as you have not yet developed an art of having conversations in the dreams, if an angel comes, it will be hard for you to have a conversation that, 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 that is lively. Otherwise, it will just be an angel speaking to you. When I'm saying a conversation that is lively, 
asking these questions even when you are awake and when you're about to go to bed like what i said you have to pray all right so i'm, I'm gonna send everybody some prayers that you pray if you are to go to bed all right so when you pray what happens is your, your spirit is awake all right like when you begin to 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 build in yourself a routine a certain routine of a sleeping pattern you don't just sleep in or there has to be a sleeping pattern all right so when you when, when you pray and you start having that out of conversations what begins to help you is this if an angel comes and when the angel comes this is at night when an angel comes and maybe you have you have an encounter like the encounters that i have sometimes that our, our, somebody is really in the room and we are we're having conversations and sometimes you see yourself awake but you are half asleep you really know that i was half asleep i was not really sleeping by the time now you are used even when it comes to after you dream a dream and that angel comes you can start to ask interpretations before you wake up that is why i that is why now before you you wake up you don't you don't just wake up from your sleep and that is the reason you don't need to use alarms at least ask god to awaken you or ask god to help you to wake up and in asking god in most of the times it is angels that wake you up like the very same way when you are so consistent in the matters of prayer if you become very much consistent you will you will come to a realize you will come to a realization that with the consistency that you have um with the consistency that you have it will make you to be attuned all right it will make you to be attuned in a way it will make you to be attuned in a way whereby if god begins to speak you you are able to dissect that way that he would uh he would have been speaking so develop that kind of an art and develop that kind of uh that kind of an attitude all right so if you are watching whether you are on 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 on, on any part that you are watching i believe it will catch up with you so you need to develop you need to come to a place where that understanding is opened up on you all right that understanding has got to be opened up on you so there are things that i want you to 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 understand today and i believe they would help you because sometimes when it comes to the issue of dreams a lot of people you realize that there are there are a lot of scenarios that come in dreams that are very confusing all right that are very confusing and i would love you to get uh, a compiled uh um dictionary that uh you you will see it coming up soon maybe in the next coming week by god's grace so th there are dreams that uh many people might have dreamt and you were asking and you are confused of the of of the the happenstance that you might have seen in those uh dreams all right there are dreams that you might have dreamt that might have confused you on the happenstance of those dreams the first, the first dream that I've had, a lot of people are speaking to me, to those that are maybe on Facebook and on the event. Um, you can just write your comment in there if you have a dream that you want us to help you with. So when you read your Bible, or when, <laughs> when you see a lot of people that have, uh, a lot of people that have spoken to me, a lot of people that have helped in the matters of dreams, many people have uh, asked me of a dream where they are sleeping and they are being chased in the dream. Everybody have dreamed such a dream where you are in the dream and you are being chased in the dream. Symbolically, symbolically, the understanding of you understanding as symbols in the dreams and all these things, it helps you sometimes in decoding before you even pray about the interpretation. It gives you an idea so that you can, you can, you can decode on a, um, you can decode on the message that God might be speaking to you uh, that you, you, you might ought to, to understand. So I want you to really get this right. The, the first kind of a dream that I've seen uh, happening on, on people is people dreaming a dream where uh, they are being chased, all right? And <laughs> this dream, it happens. On me, I've also uh, dreamed this dream, all right? I've also dreamt this dream. And sometimes when you wake up, it feels like really somebody was chasing you. 
all right? One of the things is this dream um, might be showing you in a place where, you know, when you are pursuing sometimes the things that you, you love the most. When you're pursuing the things that you love the most. And, 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 and God is trying to show you the dangers, all right? The dangers of you being, you being pursued. Maybe it is in a relationship, all right? Where a, a person is trying to pursue you and maybe you are not interested in them. Maybe you are not interested in them and God is trying to give you a warning. That person might be a friend that will open doors for you and you will maybe will be busy leading, running away as that relationship you are running away from might lead to somewhere and it might, it might, uh, it might bosom, all right? It might bosom. So try by all means to come to a place that when you are being chased in the dream, Understand what is it that is being spoken about. Get to a point of looking at the features. All right. I'm not talking specifically about those dreams where you are being chased and somebody wants to kill you. All right. Because if 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 you if you dream such a dream uh, of somebody you being chased and somebody wants to kill you, you have to you you, you have to um be very much alert of the people that are surrounding you or people that are in your environment that might by any means all right such people that by, by any means they might um they might uh assassinate your character or they might assassinate your being all right so that is one of the things that uh one of the dreams that a lot of people dream being chased so those are the bad things on the good side, it is an issue of relationship in most of the times, all right? And on the bad side, if it's, if it's somebody who wants to kill you, it's an assassination that will be happening. So you have to be very, very much careful. It might be character assassination at your workplace in your career, all right? Then there is a second dream that uh, I don't know if you have had this kind of a scenario or this kind of a dream where you, you, where you dream yourself uh, being chased not being chased, falling. Sometimes, you know, you are sleeping and while you are sleeping on the bed, while you are sleeping on the bed, you know, and you you, you dream running and while you are running, then automatically all, all, all of a sudden, boom, you are at the edge of the building. Then you fall from the building. And most of the times, you know, you don't, you don't really wake up, um, you don't really wake up uh, in a good way. So this is an indication of you, maybe if you are on a position at work, um, it's telling you that there is a loss of, um, of authority, of power, or of a position, all right? Of a position. So the, the loss of authority or the loss of power might be an issue of maybe you are in a relationship and you're about to lose it. It will be the, such dreams of people falling, they alert you of certain issues that are in your life that you're ignoring. You know, you see people the, being in relationships and them being in relationships. Sometimes, yes, there are internal fights that happens in relationships. And in as much as there are those fights that you see happening in relationships, sometimes we ignore the little things that matter the most. And those are the things that will cause an effect. So it's a dream that will be alerting you to say, check your life and try to do with what is to be dealt with before you get to lose things that are important to you. So dream, these dreams of, 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 of falling symbolizes in a lot of times issues of one falling, all right? Symbolizes in a lot of time issues of one falling, all right? From a place and you have to be to ask for caution, all right? Then there is, um, there is a dream uh, that you have seen people dreaming, a dream of eating, a dream of eating. And <laughs> so, sometimes uh, when, when it comes to environments, it, it, like what I said, that it differs on the dream. On another side, this kind of a dream is a dream that you, you, you realize that it 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 has um it, 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 it's a dream that has affected a lot of people 
how is it affecting a lot of people? If you have been in a grown up in that environment where you are told that such dreams, they will symbolize that you need deliverance. Yet it's not all dreams that symbolize that you need deliverance, all right? It's not all dreams that symbolize that you need deliverance if maybe one is eating in the dreams, all right? So it, it, what, 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 what it means sometimes, it might talk about a new revelation. If you read your Bible, you, you see Elisha seated down, see, uh, tired, and the Bible says he was sleeping. And when he was sleeping, the Bible says an angel spoke to him while he was in the sleep. And he said to him, eat the bread, eat the food that the angel eats, say, eat for we have a long journey. And he had an encounter of eating in that, in that atmosphere. And the next time when he woke up, he was walking up, going on a journey. So it was a fresh flow of, uh, of, of, of knowledge, understanding, and information that was, that was to give him a power, authority, or a drive to the next assignment that he was having. I believe somebody is getting, is getting understanding now. So what, what differs is the scenario of the, the environment. But imagine now if you dream a dream, it's not an angel who has appeared in your dream that is saying eating. And you dream a dream, you are in a shrine and you are being, you are, you are being um, fed certain things that are mixed, that are worms. On such a dream, you have to pray because it's not about, it's, it's, it's not about a good information or revelation that you are being given inside. It is your spirit being affected by a, 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 a negative and a negative spirit, all right? That is where you see most of the times when you wake up after that, you see yourself becoming sick. You see a relationship uh, being messed up. You see a relationship being messed up. So in, if, if it's a negative dream, well, it's demonic, maybe it's, you, are being, you are being forced to eat witchcraft foods. On such kind of a dream, you have to pray and cancel such, um, such things, all right? You have to, you have to, to 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 start to cancel such such kind of uh, of things. So it's it's this is this is a a, a very very uh, strange dream. I believe that a lot of people you have uh, kind of like uh, encountered. All right, you've kind of like encountered, and you're asking yourself, how do I come to that place where I not only do I get more understanding, but how do I come to a place that I will deal with this. Uh, with whatever that will be happening right there. So that is what will help you in whatever that will be happening in the environment where you will be in Jesus' mighty name. So if, if you have dreamt such a dream, come to a place where I would want you to pray and I would want understanding and revelations to be opened up to you so that the devil will not deceive you. All right. So there are dreams that you will check uh, if, if you have been also that kind of a person who, uh, who has been a dreamer, I, I love dreamers so much. If you have been a person who has been some kind of a dreamer, all right, there are dreams that have to do with maybe you dream, um, you dream a, a, a dog, all right? A dog, it doesn't necessarily mean that you, you have found, a, what do you call it? You, you, you are dreaming witchcraft. Because in most cases, these dogs have got as will connect to something that is to do with uh, with witchcraft, in which it has uh, confused a lot of people. Sometimes these dogs can represent loyalty. All right, can represent loyalty. These dogs can represent uh, loyalty. Are you understanding what I'm saying? All right, they can represent loyalty. So there has to be discernment. What is the dog doing in the dream? Have you dreamt the dog biting you? Have you dreamt the dog protecting you? So you, you have to check on that, all right? Is it about protection? Is it about loyalty? Is, or is it about you being, being attacked? You saw you being attacked, it will end up in betrayal because you remember a dog is like a friend to a person. It will end up on, on, on betrayal. All right, it will end up on betrayal. So some have dreamt uh, dreams whereby you are in a place you do not know and there are doors that are showing up in different ways, all 
all right? There are doors that are showing up in different ways and you are going through different doors. We are understanding that that has to do with opportunities being opened up to a person and uh, doors being opened up to a person. Same as dreaming something that has to do with watches. It's, it's symbolic, straightforward. It has to do with time, all right? It has to do with time. So you have to understand what is it that God will be revealing on there. So dream symbols, they are very much important, all right? They are very much important. And I would want you to, 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 to really check and um, be very careful, like what I said when it comes to an issue of dream. I'm going to explain different dreams before I bring you to, to understanding. I believe you are still with me. You have not yet uh, lost me. Now, look at maybe you dream, you dream a dream. You are in a, a room, a house, and a house represents your a house represents your life. A house represents your ministry. Right? A house represents your destiny. And while you are in that house, um, you will see curtains that are red. All right. You will see curtains that are what? That are maybe red curtains that will be in the room. And while you are seeing those uh, red curtains that are in the room, then in seeing those red curtains that are in, in, in the room, you see yourself coming to a place where the, 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 there is uh, a man of God. All right. So the, the, the color red can symbolize can symbolize wisdom, anointing, and power. The power red can symbolize wisdom, anointing, and power. You have seen a man of God, all right? So you have to check, all right, the color is red. Here is a man of God. And I told you, if you dream a person in the dream, it's not about them. It's about what they do and their character. That is how you interpret the dream. If you interpret saying, I have seen Dr. Mara, the problem is you might confuse what God is trying to say. He might be talking about what I do and the position of what I do. So that is what you concentrate on. So you concentrate, okay, he's a man of God. Number two, I'm in a room, all right, a house, and that house represents me, all right? If it's a bedroom, a bedroom represents intimacy, all right? So then I appear in there. When I appear in there, the colors of the curtains are red. They are red. Then that is that, that that will be something that has to do with maybe wisdom is being imparted on you. Or I'll come in maybe in that dream uh, as an angel, but represented by my 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 figure as a symbol who bring wisdom or power to you. But imagine on the negative side, you are dreaming, you are in the sitting room, and there are your family members, and there is red in color. You will know that confusion will happen, or a fight is gonna break out or a fight is going to break out. It's going to break out. So if it is like that, it, it, it will, it, it's something that will be very much, um, it's something that will be very much uh, dangerous or something that will, will really affect you in a place whereby you are, um, you are dreaming such, all right? You are dreaming such. All right. So now there, 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 so colors, there are colors, there are symbols and there are numbers that you have to check. Like what I said, when you are checking in to your environment. So if, if you check, most importantly, these are the most colors that one would dream in the dream or the common colors, colors like blue. All right. That will be representing uh, issues of uh, issues of uh revelation, communion. And when a person dreams blue in most of the times, you will see that there's an atmosphere of the Holy Spirit and everything, all right? There will be an atmosphere of the Holy Spirit and all. And um, aside from that, if, if one, you, you are in a place, maybe you are wearing blue and you come to me and say, I was wearing blue and I was in a dream. I will understand that you are going through certain things that are very tough and you are needing God's intervention. You are in depression or you are anxious and you really need God's uh, intervention. In most cases, you know, those, 
days when we are to go to school and by that time you you are sleeping and you can't sleep because you have to go to school next day you would see that blue would always appear in that dream uh to symbolize an issue of the anxiety that you'll be you'll be you'll be having all right so it it takes revelation for you to understand all these things i believe it's not much information that is confusing you but it takes revelation for you to understand all this and it takes discipline you, you have to come to a place where you you, you you practice with with discipline what uh what 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 God will be will be showing you. All right, it has to be with discipline of what God will be showing you. There are people mostly uh, that will talk of the two colors that are always uh, common: black and uh, black and um, white. So you have to when you dream white. Mm, the first thing is we all understand why to represent holiness, to represent purity, it will represent God opening up you to purity. And in most cases, if you you are in a, maybe you, you are in a place where uh, it's, it's, it's an environment where you are dreaming white, but in a negative way. A person is wearing white in a negative way, especially in the church environment. All right, maybe you are dreaming yourself, you are wearing white. And in that, there are certain compromising things that are there. It's a religious, familiar spirit that you are being, you, you, you are being signaled for you to come out of certain cliques. Uh, you know, people when they get in environments of shit, they enter into cliques. So it's, you, you, be, you, you are being told to say you have to come out of that religious spirit so that you can serve God without being bound with religious or politics, all right? And, uh, and politics. So, and, 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 and the issues of, of politics. So you, once you get to a place, once you get to a place where you dream, where you dream or where, where you are dreaming uh, colors, understands number one, the mode. Every color comes with a mode. If you dream black, black always will come, you, it will representing death, all right? But black is very spiritual. All right, black is very spiritual. In most cases, it will, it will, it will be representing a uh, 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 black. I remember there is a lady who um, who I, I prayed for, and after I prayed for her, she was barren for long. And when I prayed for her, God touched her in the service. When she slept in the dream, she she, she dreamt herself uh, being on a place where there were black waters, surrounded by black waters. And while being surrounded by all these black waters, she took out a child, all right? She took out a child and that was her deliverance. It happened in the dream. Her child was hidden spiritually, all right? Her child was hidden spiritually. Her child was hidden spiritually. So you have to understand what is God trying to uh, speak to you as far as your dreams are concerned. Never come to a place where you ignore anything that would have been coming in your dream. Never come to a place where you ignore any information that God will be speaking into your dream, all right? Never come to that place where you ignore because that is that, that has been the reason why most of us uh, have missed opportunities or have missed... Um, have missed uh, the, the 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 role of um, the role of what God will be trying to symbolize in in the future. Then there, there are dreams that are quite confusing that I have seen a lot of people dream dreams that are quite confusing that I've seen a, a lot of people dream when you are in your sleep and while you are in your sleep, you you dream kind of. Uh, I don't know if you've ever dreamed that dream that is confusing that you, you, you dream the first thing you dream you are here. The, the second thing you dream you are in, um, what do you call this? You dream you are in a different place. You, you are dreaming you are here right now. And the next thing you are dreaming you are in a very, very, very far place that is not really in connection with whatever you are trying to, to convince. You are dreaming in, 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 in Zimbabwe. You are dreaming in South Africa. And when you wake up, you are confused. You are trying to connect the dream, but you are confused to say, what is it that, um, 
what is it that this dream is trying to open up to me? All right. You are trying, you are confused. What is it that this dream? Is it that I have to come from Zimbabwe to South Africa? And maybe there are different events that happen on the same time. Such dreams can be affected by can be affected by the issue. They can be affected by the issue that the moment you were sleeping and you woke up, everybody comes to a place where they wake up. Sometimes you wake up going to the loo. Sometimes you wake up, um, you wake up because of an alarm. All right. So you disconnect to that. You disconnect to that realm that you were dreaming in. It might be a message that was being released to you. So you, you have disconnected. So the moment you wake up now, you connect to a different portal. If you have heard such, if you have heard such, you, 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 if you have heard such kind of a things now, check the first dream, what was in the first dream and the second dream and analyze, is it a continuation? Because if I dream in a certain house, maybe I dream in the house where it's my house that maybe I will be owning now. And the second thing, in the same dream, uh, I start dreaming myself, I am now in another house. That is maybe the house of where I, have, I was coming from. I, 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 I have to come to a place where I, I have to, to, really, to really pray, all right? I have to come to a place where I have to really pray. What would have made me to come to that place where... I, I have exchanged two different kinds of places. I was in the house where it was my home. Now I'm in a different place. So it, 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 it mostly symbolizes that if it's not a continuous dream, you, 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 you are a person who easily disconnects. You are a person who easily disconnects to, uh, you are a person who easily disconnects to, 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 to a realm or to God when he's communicating to you. You are a person who easily disconnects. So that, that is one thing that I want you to, 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 to be very careful of. Never come to a place where you disconnect. Am, am I communicating to somebody? Never come to a place where you disconnect. If God is speaking to you, if God is communicating to you, or God is trying to pass a message. So what is it really that makes a person to be able to interpret dreams? What is it that makes a person to be able to interpret dreams? The first thing that will help you and will make you able to, to interpret dreams is your, your, your consistency in practicing or your consistency in the manner of um, your consistency in in uh, in how you time your dreams. If you dream dreams and you are writing them down, and also catching up to understand the time in which you dream dreams, because people are different. There are people that dream dreams around three. All right. There are people that dream dreams around four, and there are people that dream dreams when they are about to wake up. So if you understand, if you come to a place where you understand the sequence of your dreams, it will make it easier for you, all right, that it will make it easier for you to, um, for you to, 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 it will make it easier for you to, to, to be able to protect those dreams. So the first thing that I want you to be careful are uh, the dream, are uh, the dream catchers, all right, the dream catchers that, you see yourself sleeping, and all of a sudden you do like you have you have gone through a what do you call it? You have gone through a nightmare, and you wake up. Then suddenly, when you wake up, you see that whatever dream or revelation that would have come would have been taken to you. Yet it was the mind of God that was being revealed to you. So you need to make sure that um, for you not to, to to be affected. The first thing is. Make sure that you pull up your spiritual antenna. Pull up your spiritual antenna. All right? Pull up a spiritual antenna. In pulling up a spiritual antenna, it is uh, you, you, you the, 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 the thing that you can do for you to receive is get ready to receive. That is the first thing that pulls up one spiritual antenna. Get ready to receive. Get ready to receive even in the dream. 
You must be so much alert and be ready that if God is to speak, you are ready to grasp it and you are ready to receive. So it is an anticipation that you have to do when you are going to sleep that God is to speak to me. And you 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 have obvious to, to apply the, the blood of Jesus in as much as you're going to sleep. And so your prayer must be a, a point where you pray in the spirit, all right? Pray in the spirit, anticipating, Father, as I'm going to sleep, uh, make me to sleep peacefully. And as I speak, sleep peacefully, I pray that my spirit is aligned to you. And by that time, you are playing maybe a soft worship. My spirit is aligned to you. And I pray that you are going to bring in uh, a, a message into my dream. You are going to speak to me. Lord, send forth angel Gabriel to bring in information and my spirit is ready. I connect to the angelic realm in Jesus mighty name. Are you hearing what I'm saying? In Jesus mighty name, I pray mighty father that whatever sickness that might be happening may angel Raphael visit in my dreams. I am receptive in the name and in the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare battles in my dreams, satanic afflictions in my dreams. May angel Michael fight my battles I open up my spirit for the angelic in the name and the blood of Jesus. Angel Uriel, may he rise in power to protect and defend my spirit from every demonic wave frequency that might try to come to manipulate my spirit by the power of the resurrected Christ. While you are decreeing, what are you doing? You are raising up your spiritual antenna. All right? You are raising up your spiritual antenna. All right, so that is what one does if you are to uh you are you are you are fighting uh issues or you are um, you 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 are blocking the issue of these uh demonic things. So I want you to catch much on this uh very carefully. All right, I want you to catch much of this. As you are at rest, is your receptor or your receptacle clean? Everybody wants to receive dreams, right? I've told you about colors. And like what I said, you have to get that, dic that dictionary that will be coming. It will help you much, all right, to even help others and all. Now, your receptor has to be clean. It has to be clean. If, if you hope to receive revelation from God, your channels of communication must be clean, all right, uncluttered or from any junk that is on the world that involves, it involves you renewing your mind. You, you can't do a, a, a scenario whereby you, 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 you are sleeping and before you go to sleep, you are busy watching these strange movies, you know, before you get to sleep, you are busy watching these strange movies, which will lead you to encounter a, a series of nightmares in your dream. It will make you to encounter a series of nightmares in your dream. A series of nightmares. So it has to be clean. If you read, your, I, I believe if you read your Bible in the book of Ephesians, we are told to renew the mind by the spirit and put renewal to self, all right, so that you can come to that place where there is the likeness of you and God and there is holiness. So when your mind is renewed, it allows truthfulness or a message to enter without uh, being without being affected. So there, there, there are channels that have to do with uh, dreams. All right. Once the dream portal opens and God is speaking to you, like what the Bible says in the book of Job, that God says, I will come in the, I will come and put in a, a, a message and seal the message in your ear when God would have opened. What blocks that channel? What blocks that channel and make you to be unreceptive to God's voice? And in, 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 in some way you, you see yourself not uh, being opened now. How, what is it that you are trying to deal with so that your mind is renewed? The first thing is worry. The first thing is worry. All right? The first thing is worry. Worry blocks. Because when you are worrying, you, you, when you sleep worried, I know everybody gets worried. That's why, that's why I said pray, meditate the word, listen to worship while you are sleeping so that your mind can be clear in that moment. All right? So worry uh, it, 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 it blocks the spirit because number one, it, it, it affects your faith. And the Bible says, without faith, you cannot uh, please God and you can't receive anything outside faith. 
You can't receive anything outside faith. So worry has that way. Worry is that way that it brings you, it, it leads you to you being clogged inside your dream. That is what what does, all right? It clogs you inside your dream, all right? It clogs you inside your dream. The second thing is anger. The second thing is anger. Anger blocks because once every time you are angry, there is, there is a blockage, even if it is to pray, not just dreaming. So if you are to sleep and you are angry at a person, obviously your dreams will be filled with issues of violence. Your dreams will be filled with uh, the, the things you'll be dreaming in the dream. You see yourself having a series of things that have to do with you uh, fighting or being fought or someone trying to, 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 to come on you really seriously. All right? The other thing is last. Last is the reason why people dream those sexual dreams that they dream. <laughs> last is very dangerous, all right? It makes people to dream those kind of dreams that people dream in at night that are sometimes sexual and all. Sometimes sexual at all. So, so if, if, if you are to, to deal with that, we will understand fasting will, will help you more. And imagine if you, you, you have been watching those kind of movies before you sleep, then when you go to sleep, remember your body is active and you, you eat massive food and waste your body is now more active, the things you dream. You open up a channel because like what I explained today, the problem of things like intercourse in the dream, they open up a way for the enemy to bring in information into your spirit. To bring in information in your spirit. All right. So you have to be very cautious of that. And I, I told you to deal with addictions or that makes you restless drinking. And the, 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 the last thing when it comes to a spiritual receptacle is the issue of you dealing with uh, bitterness. Bitterness. Do you know that if you are in that place where maybe I have angered you and you, you, you are bitter continuously, all right? And you, you, you are bitter continuously, um, you are bitter continuously, when you dream me, and in most of the times, people you are bitter about, they always come in your dream. They continuously come. I don't know how God does it, but it is for you to let go of bitterness because most of these people are the people that blocks the way you are to, you, you, you are to understand or the way that dreams have to go in your life. Bitterness is very dangerous. It blocks real dreams and it brings you, because God wants you to deal with that bitterness as a blockage. So let go of bitter. If somebody angered you or somebody did something wrong to you, make sure you let go of it. Make sure you let go of it. And I know beyond any doubt that, uh, that, that God will, will touch you, all right? And that God will open up a certain realm or a place in you. So once you have dealt with these things and you are now about to sleep, all right, I want you wherever you are to, to pray or write this prayer down. You say, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of, in the name of Jesus Christ, may, may angel Michael be on my right side and on my left side, may there be angel Gabriel. All right. And on before me, there has to be Uriel, and behind me, Raphael, and above me, may your Shekinah glory be upon me. That brings a veil. That brings protection. Uh, that will be on you. So it brings you to that place where you have um, you have divine uh, divine protection over your dreams and uh, divine protection over your over yourself. All right divine protection over your dreams. All right, divine protection over your dreams. So as, 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 as I've been trying to, to explain for a long time that 
<laughs> as I've been explaining for a long time that if you are to, to, to operate in the prophetic, you are to operate in the prophetic, come to that place where you really deal with, um, you really deal with, uh, 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 you, you, you deal with issues of, uh, of your consistent in dreams. And this is what I want to, 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 to touch today as the last, I know this, this is an ongoing thing, all right? Uh, and it, it will be coming up to you always. There are times when you see yourself, there are people that say, I have a problem, uh, man of God, I, I cannot dream dreams. That's what I want to deal with. I cannot dream dreams. Now, what do you do when you're going through that place where you are not dreaming dreams? God is silent. God is silent. All right? I want you to do an, invent, uh, an, 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 an introspection inventory on your life. Because remember, what makes that flow not to come is because of what is happening around you. So the first thing is come to that place where if there is an instruction that you the God would have told you to do and you have not done it, go back and do it. Go back and do it. Because if, if God has spoken to you and told you a certain instruction of what to do and you have not yet completed that instruction, why would you need more messages? It might be a business that God told you, do this business and do this. Why would God bring more messages if you have not yet implemented what you were given before? So that's one of the things that affects people. All right? That's one of the things that affects people. It affects people. So when, when that silence is there, get to a place. All right, get to a place where you don't put yourself in a dark place of uh, negative, negative, uh, negative confessions where you are always expecting, uh, ex expecting very funny things. Well, but what am I saying? You are not a word person because these dreams are connected to the word. So when you're in a dark place, it's you are not a person who is so much given to the word. You are not addicted to the word. So how will revelation flow into you when you are not connected to the word? Because in, in, in most of the times when God comes in the dreams, he confirms through the word. Sometimes even when the dream starts, it is like God is explaining scriptures or things that would have happened in the, in the scriptures or the scripture you read then that scripture begins to unlock the vein of dreams. Maybe you were at a church service and a message was preached. That message, that scripture, you see it come to you while you are sleeping and already it connects you to a message of what God wants to speak to you over maybe the issue that I have to do to happen in the week. Over what God would have wanted to speak to you over what should or what must have happened uh, during the week. All right. So you, you you have to come to a place where you get that understanding and you put it close to you. You put it close to you. So it, it is it is common sometimes for one to get into an environment where it seems as if there is silence. You, you, are, you are not the first and you will not be the last. All right, but if you can discipline yourself in what we have spoken about, you see yourself beginning to develop. You see yourself beginning to grow. You see yourself beginning to um. You see yourself beginning to 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 open up um, uh, open up your receptacle of the spirit. Surround yourself with people that understand dreams. The conversations you have more determines the kind of invitation that flows to you. The conversations you have more determines the understanding that gets to you. 
Listen to, to, to more teachings about dreams. Get understanding, all right? Get understanding. Get understanding. Get invitation. Dreams can flow through invitations. Dreams can flow also through invitations. Get invitation where an invitation would have been put in you. All right? There are dreams that many people have dreamt that has to do with our people. All right? There are dreams that, uh, that have to do with, with people. And some of those dreams are not dreams specifically that when you dream it, it, uh, it, it, um, it will be saying that you must go and speak to the person. Some of these dreams, they come because you would have come to that place where you are, you have the spirit of or a burden of intercession. So it's one of the things that makes one to um it's one of the things that makes one to 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 to, to, to be to be so much open and for God to speak to you more. That spirit of intercession, God tells you people's messages and dreams. All right. God tells you messages in these dreams. God tells you messages in these dreams. It is because of the intercession role that you have. So at the later stage, you will not just see yourself, uh, you will not just see yourself uh, dreaming dreams. You will get to a place where you see yourself. You will get to a place where you see yourself, God speaking to you directly that Sometimes you are you you are in a place where uh, you, you have visited at a house because of the spirit of intercession. You will be taken into a deep sleep for two minutes, a sleep you cannot resist. It's called a deep sleep in two minutes. Why? Because you have exercised your spirit. You have exercised your spirit. So by the reason of exercising your spirit, you will then come to that place. All right, you would then come to that place where um, where you you then come to that place where you 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 are given a dream or a, a meaning or what will be happening, and in most times of in in most of these places, I believe um, I, I believe you 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 will be dreaming uh you you will be dreaming uh people. Uh, in these dreams. And like what I said, and I explained that if you are dreaming a person in the dream, the first thing, wh what, is the, what is the relationship that you have with this person? Are you related to them? Is there friendship? Is there communion? Are they your brother? Are they, who are they? What is the relationship? That is the first thing. If you dream a person in a dream, what is the relationship? Um, the second thing that might be of importance is the name of the person. What does the person's name mean? What does the person's name mean? All right, so the person, their name, and you check also on, like what I said, what they represent and their character trait. Those three things. All right, those three things. And if maybe in, in your dream, in your dream, you have encountered symbolism of, um, of, of, of maybe a, a man of God, a woman of God. Sometimes it's it's a message that will be delivered to you in most of the times. So the most thing, don't, 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 the most important thing is not about the person, it's about the message that the person hears. So focus on the message, not on the person who they've come in the dream. So the meaning will be dreaming most of the times, it will come to a place where it is a person, all right? So I think I'm gonna speak five things, then I'll ask you, to maybe uh, um, be, be asking questions. The second thing, uh, if you dream in untrust with person, so <laughs> it, when you dream in untrust with person, it, it's showing you about a season or a time in your life where you will not have to trust people because there's deception that will be coming, all right? So maybe that person would have betrayed you before 
or that person you know that they are not to be trusted, the Holy Spirit will be telling you to say, be very much careful. And sometimes, maybe in that season, God would want you to cut off from certain people that are toxic. All right? That are what? That are toxic. There are, there are people that have dreamt, especially ladies, you have dreamt maybe being with your husband in the dream. You are, you are not seeing the face, but it's your husband. And you are confused when you wake up. And most of the times, you know, maybe maybe it comes to a place where you are praying, you are in need of a husband, or, you know, and you are praying. Same maybe we are talking about a man, all right? It, it, it specifically, if it's, a, it's a, a lady, you have dreamt a husband. It's specifically talking about uh, a Jesus that come to a place where you strengthen your relationship with Christ. Come to a place where you are going to strengthen your relationship with Christ. All right? With Christ. If it's a man, it's the same thing. Your, especially men don't go to church. So when they dream, it's, it's hard for a man to dream a wife most of the times. <laughs> because they don't even go to church. So God will be trying to speak about their relationship. And... Um, when you grow in your intimacy, sometimes that's when, uh, in differently from the African culture in of superstitions, if, if you dream an issue of you being married, it's talking about you, your climax and your growing to your relationship with God, where God is putting you to a certain kind of dimension, certain kind of a covenant. All right certain kind of a covenant, all right? Certain kind of a covenant that you will be having in your dream. So when you understand that, it, it, it will now help you. Oh God. It will now begin to help you to say, all right, that was Christ that I was speaking with. All right, that was Christ that I was speaking with. And I remember dreaming a dream sometime. There were storms that were there when I was dreaming the dream. And when the Holy Spirit spoke to me, he, he, he said to me, come to, he, he said to me, raise your discernment senses because you need to enter into spiritual warfare, enter into intercession. So the storms were, uh, were, 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 were intercessory. They were not necessarily meaning that uh, I was getting to, to a place where uh, there was a storm that was to hit me. Yes, it was a demonic attack that was coming, a negative demonic attack, but I was being led to intercession that it was intercession that was going to help me in that kind of a situation. All right? That was going to help me in that kind of a situation. It was going to help me in that kind of a situation. So... Basically, uh, as for if we are talking about uh, foundation, that is what we will be uh, will be talking about. So there is a lot that I might teach on dreams. It's something that I have learned and I've practiced since I was young. So there is a lot that um, that I've learned, and we are going to get to a point where we are going to be learning more. All right. So, is there anyone with? Uh, 